Assalamualaikum. So this is the third part of our video on industrial building allowance. So previously, we are still talking about the qualifying building expenditure. So about this qualifying building expenditure, the thing that you should know about QBE is that what will be the QBE for purchase building, purchase industrial building, and the QBE for uh, constructed industrial building. So, and as I said uh, earlier in my second video, uh, for leased building, leased industrial building, meaning to say that the company, uh, they did not purchase or they did not construct the building on their own, but instead, they per se was saja. Okay, rented industrial building ataupun leased industrial building does not qualify as QBE. Sebab QBE is on demand for expenses dalam bentuk capital expenditure. Bila kamu sewa, you have to pay rental, right? Rental is revenue expenditure. It it is deducted in arriving at adjusted income. Tapi, when you have a lease building, lepas tu kita buat renovation, kita buat alteration, benda-benda yang berbentuk capital expenditure, those item baru layak sebagai Q. BE, where you can claim industrial building allowance on that item. Okay, so now we are at the part where we are talking about the special issues on QBE. The special issues here, uh, I've covered with you about part of the building is used as industrial building, where we are going to apply the 10% rule. Okay, so please refer to the video uh, part two video I have explained on the industry uh, the ten percent rule we normally call it as ten percent uh, rules. Okay, now uh, I'm going to explain to you about the seventy five percent rule under Para sixty seven. Okay, the seventy five percent rule it is all about when the company the company already have an industrial building. Okay, then the company, they purchase plant and machinery. And the thing about this plant and machinery, it is not a normal plant and machinery where in order to install this plant and machinery, the company need to prepare the land. Okay, they need to prepare the land in order to install the plant and machinery where normally they have to uh, clear, okay, they have to level the land they have to cut and sometimes they have to make a tunnel something like tunneling okay so bila benda ni jadi there might be some change uh, some chances where the plant and machinery dan juga cost of preparing ni dua-dua ni boleh jadi QBE okay Normal plan and machinery tak? Kalau normal plan and machinery straight, kita akan claim capital allowance. It is not under industry building allowance. But this is for a special plan and machinery where this plan and machinery in order to install the machine, the company need to prepare the land. Where they need to clear, level, cut and tunnel the land in order to install the machine. Maybe the machine tu dia duduk bawah tanah ke, underground ke, uh, macam tu. So in this case, there might be some chances where uh, the plant machinery and also the cost of clearing the land, apa semua, preparing the land just now tu, dia juga boleh jadi uh, apa? Uh, industry building allowance it, it will be cut uh, part of the QBE so how to determine whether uh, they can jadi QBE atau tidak if it's, if it's a QBE they will claim IBA lah so what you need to do is that you have to take a P there is a formula here okay the formula is P plus L P is equal to cost of plant and machinery and installation L ialah cost of preparing, cutting, tunneling and leveling the land in order to install the machine. So, you take out these two, add it together, then kita akan dapat E. E ni ialah total P campur L. Assuming P, you purchase a plan and machinery. Plan and machinery termasuk juga dengan installation cost ya. Katalah kita beli machine 100,000, install machine 20,000. So, P equal to 120,000. 
thousand. <clears throat> But in order to install the machine, tadi tu, we need to prepare the land where you have to cut, tunnel and even level the land. Katalah the cost of doing this is actually 400,000. So, P campur L equal to E, awak akan dapat 520K. So, what you need to do then, you take L, divide it with E times with 100%. Okay, jadi L kita ialah 400,000. Divided by E, 5, 2, kosong. Make it into percentage. You are going to get, berapa ya? Please do the computation kejap. Hmm. Where you are going to get um, 400 divided by 520. 76.9, 77%. 77%. So, 77% is actually apa? Dia ada syarat, dia kata. Dia kata, if L... More than 75% of E, then E akan jadi QBE. Okay? Tapi kalau L is equal ataupun less than 75% 75% of E, dia tak akan jadi QBE. Tapi apa jadi P, kita akan claim normal capital allowance. So in this case, because L is more than 75% of E, uh, kat sini L dapat berapa? 77% right? L77%. So, this is what you should do. You should say here, since L is greater than 75% of E, that is equal to 77